This helping your dog for cancer? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. A mushroom that looks like this in the wild. It's known as the turkey tail mushroom. It's been approved and used as a pharmaceutical grade medicine for the treatment of cancer in Japan for over 30 years. It's found widely throughout the world and it grows in the wild, often on old decaying logs. And when you see it, it sort of fans out, hence kind of like the fan of a turkey tail. The official name, it's Coriolis versicolor or T versicolor. There are literally hundreds of studies done in people specifically for using this mushroom on some of the different types of cancers. There are some animal studies, one 2012 study, specifically it was given to dogs that had hemangiosarcoma, that's the cancer of the lining of the red blood cells, which typically affects the spleen. That's actually what my last dog, Hoochie, died of. And what they found in this study, when dogs just had their spleen removed, they lived on average about two months. Dogs that then had their spleen removed and then were given a follow-up turkey tail mushroom, they lived on average four to six months. Honestly, I never really heard about it. And at the time in 2003, when Hoochie got cancer, you know, if I had known about turkey tail mushroom, for sure I would have given it. You know? The active ingredient found in many of the medicinal mushrooms is called PSPs or protein bound polysaccharides. And specifically that's what's in the turkey tail mushroom and that's what's giving it many of its medicinal qualities. It's often used in conjunction with chemotherapy, specifically in people. It's being used for stomach cancer. It's being used for colon cancer. It's being used for lung cancer. Exactly what are these mushrooms doing? Well, it's thought they're specifically acting on the immune system. So they're stimulating things such as pro-inflammatory cytokines, interferon, interleukin, natural killer cells, T cell proliferation. I find it just a little unusual. I haven't really heard about it. But clinical research on this mushroom, on this turkey tail mushroom, she first started in 1970 in Japan. I mean, what is it? It's 2021? Is that not 50 years ago? Like it's taken 50 years for me to hear about this mushroom? Is it safe? Like is it safe for you to be giving this to your dog, to be giving it to your cat? Well, I was looking at reported adverse effects in terms of side effects. There's minimal. Um, they report in some people can get dark stools, diarrhea, but very uncommon. They're not seeing it interact with other medications. So even if your dog is on chemotherapy, for instance, they can also be on uh, this turkey tail mushroom. What the mushroom is doing is just making the immune system that much more effective. So just think, you have all these different processes going on in the body trying to fight these cancer cells, which are trying to grow, form new blood vessels and spread. It's just making that immune system much more primed to be able to fight it. For instance, looking at one of the studies of people having stage three colon cancer where it spread to the lymph nodes, but hasn't spread throughout the body. They likely then have been able to surgically resect uh, the colon cancer section or mass. They're looking at five year survival rates of people as well supplementing with turkey tail mushroom being upwards of 80%. Well, for people that didn't take the turkey tail mushroom and just had the standard chemotherapy, and that dropped to 70%. Seems pretty darn safe, limited interactions, limited side effects, real positive upside. No, it's not necessarily gonna be like the magic cure, like you're gonna give it and your dog is cured of cancer, but it sure helps, right? And it may actually make a big difference for one, maybe your dog is gonna have a positive remission for a long period of time. Maybe he's actually gonna have a cure at the very least, maybe it's just going to extend his life, especially if you're also doing it in conjunction with chemotherapy. What about doses? Well, standard human dose is about 3000 milligrams per day. That's, so that's about 3000 milligrams per 150 pounds. If we extrapolate that back to our dogs, that's about 20 milligrams per pound. Little Tula, she weighs about 22 pounds. That would be close to a little over 400 milligrams. These are 500 milligram capsules. My inclination then would be to treat Tula with just one capsule a day. If your dog is bigger um, and it's suggested, you can then split them up and give them twice daily. But generally, you're looking at very few side effects, you know, GI upset. So I'm pretty much thinking that if I had to have Tula on this, you'd probably take it just fine. Yeah. Some of the studies I was reading, actually people stay on the turkey tail long term. 
So they might have had something like colon cancer, have been able to have that surgically resected, but long term, I mean, they stay on the turkey tail. So when you see people on a supplement for 10 years, and they're cancer free for 10 years, it's like, hmm, probably a good thing to stand up and take notice and, you know, really seriously think about it, you know, as another alternative option to incorporate in treating your dog or even your cat if they've got cancer. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you found that helpful. Love to hear your feedback and your comments. It's Dr. Jones.